You know, when I choose what games I'm going to make videos on, there's usually a relatively good reason why. For example, a game might mean a lot to me personally, either because I loved it as a kid or I just love it in general. Or even when the game is, like, pretty not great, I usually have at least something good to say about it. But this video has the worst reason, and that reason is Madagascar the video game has a really awesome mini golf game in it. And to clarify, this game isn't a mini golf game, it's a platformer, but like, shit's mediocre, man. This mini golf side game makes up about 10% of the whole game, and it's just, it's so good. This throwaway side feature in a game about a throwaway DreamWorks movie is better than most dedicated mini golf games. Look, you got some dang ass physics, you got lemurs driving cars, you got ziggity zags, and most importantly, you got my homie Maurice. I rented a lot of games growing up, and Madagascar stuck out as one of the highlights. Too many games I played as a kid were either too hard, too bare bones, or just plain patronizing, and this game was definitely not one of those. Comparable to, say, the video game adaptation of The Incredibles, Madagascar is a multi-character, action-platforming adventure that takes place across a dozen or so levels with simple but fun mechanics. It wins out over The Incredibles mostly because it doesn't have as many brutal difficulty spikes, plus the aforementioned mini-golf game, which, if you haven't heard, please allow me to fill you in, is actually a lot of fun. Movement is fairly fast, jumping is pretty satisfying, and you slowly unlock new moves as you get further into the game. You can helicopter a giraffe. The best levels are definitely the ones where you need to switch between characters to solve specific challenges. The levels feature good variety in both appearance and mechanics, ranging from stealthily sneaking out of the Central Park Zoo to collecting enough food in Madagascar to host a feast. I'd also like to specifically mention the dedicated penguin level on the boat, which is one of the highlights of the game. There will be points where the mechanics frustrate you unnecessarily, particularly this windy section where not hiding behind cover in time sends you literally flying back to the start. I've mentioned it in a previous video, but there is something off about controlling a character with four legs instead of two. The turning radius for one is larger, making maneuvering a bit more of a chore than it has to be, but it never ruins the experience. There were definitely far more refined platformers that came out around the same time, but what made this game stand out to me was never the main selling point of the game. Just take the game's map, for instance. Not only does it have some sweet music, but it's a neat little Indiana Jones-style travelogue. In the three city levels, there are three hidden arcade machines that are fully functional minigames. In addition to that, you can go spend your in-game currency on stuff like costumes, as well as extra characters for the game's fully functional DDR and shuffleboard modes. As a big fan of the Madagascar Expanded Universe, I really love that this game lets me play as such fan-favorite characters as Wilbur the Boar and Big Louie. Yeah, you handle that wrench. And I haven't mentioned it yet, but man, does this game have a great min- The main story is certainly worth giving a look, but it's the fun side games and unlockables that give the game some much-needed replay value. Without those, it's not something that I'd really remember so distinctly. Extra effort goes a long way. If I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it a solid out of 10, because it's slightly above average. I don't take this as the kind of game that people expect much out of, but give it to a kid and it probably won't make them dumber. But if you don't want to take my word for it, this game won the prestigious Parents' Choice Silver Medal Award and if a silver seal of a half-naked lady feeding a bunch of children with her tits can't convince you, then nothing will. So that was a short video, maybe less intelligent than my usual stuff, but I mean, I don't think you guys mind. Um, so basically, what's happening is that I'm working on a big multi-video uh, retrospective series for a game that um, came out a long time ago and I really like. So basically, it's taking a lot more of my time and resources than it usually does. But here's the thing, it's basically like, it's going to be my new, like, big thing on my channel. Like, how the big Spongebob reviews were the big thing before this is going to be the new hot topic or hot mess. It depends on how it turns out. But yeah, I'm really excited for it, so if you get, give you some time, it will come out eventually. So thank you for your patience. Otherwise, I will have, like, smaller videos out. Basically, just give me time. I'll work on stuff. Um, you guys are super cool, um, and I hope you have a really good day. Also, I forgot to mention it has a really good meaning.